Hey guys, my bike videos are pretty popular all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to replace brakes on the Rad Runner bikes. Uh, we have a lot of hills here in Atlanta. So um, I'm pretty frequently on them, even though I've only had these bikes a little over six months, I've already worn them down. Uh, already replaced both sets on one bike and it's biting real well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the second set. I'm just gonna show you the front brake. The uh, back brake is relatively the same, um, but uh, a little bit more challenging as far as like getting it loose. Otherwise, it's just the same. So I'll show you the front brake and then um, you can probably make sense of the back one. Here's my replacement. I'm gonna use a tool kit and some of my own handy tools. Uh, the front one is far easier just because your access to your two bolts that's real easy that's one of course i've already loosened this up and again it comes with the toolkit that i just showed you so you can use the one in there once you unbolt this it's hanging free i'm not going to do anything different it has one small cotter pin that I'm going to reuse. All you do is unbend this cotter pin and then you can take out the two brake pads and the spring. It's, you just want to use any type of tool that you can pinch it and then bend it back. Save it along with your two bolts. I'm trying to do this one hand. There you go. This spring, two worn out brake pads. New set. I know you leaves cones falling check out my other video if you want to see the chicken coop and the chicken run right here same thing i just removed right spring two brake pads assembled it back together again out of focus line this up when you reinsert it oh it's so hard to do this filming by yourself but you can see put the cotter pin in and then it's the same one I had, and you can see I unbent it, and now I'm gonna bend it back. And then by bending it just a little bit right here, uh, it just keeps it from backing out. So, um, so simple. My new fat brake pads are on. I even match the bike, green and green. Uh, slap this baby back on. Oh, if you need to adjust in and out, uh, based on squeaks or how it's sitting on your bike, you can do that once you reinsert it uh, right here, left or right um, from this little portion. But I really haven't had to do that. So you can make sure you seat this back. Again, it's mag magnet, magnetic. Um, line it up a little bit. Keep it a little bit loose until you test it out a little bit up here. And then once it feels pretty good, um, tighten it down and then you can adjust it left or right. But again, just two bolts, pretty simple. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.